Firing chain is on. 15 seconds. Five. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia to broaden our view of the universe through the Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the Pioneer shuttle headed for the Hubble Space Telescope. Roll program. Roger roll, Columbia. Columbia into the roll, placing the shuttle in a heads down, wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 25 seconds into the flight, Columbia's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Already two miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, leaving an incandescent trail behind it. Columbia headed for Hubble, Hubble almost directly over the Cape at this moment. Three engines now uh, throttling down, uh, soon to throttle back up to 104% of rated performance. The main engines along with the three fuel cells and three hydraulic power units all functioning normally. Standing by. Houston, you are go at throttle up. That throttle up call from Capcom Mark Polanski acknowledged by Commander Scott Altman aboard Columbia. Altman joined on the flight deck by pilot Dwayne Carey, flight engineer Nancy Curry and mission specialist John Grunsfeld, Rick Lenahan, Jim Newman and Mike Massimino seated down on the mid-deck. Columbia tracking right down the pike, 15 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange, heading due east from the Kennedy Space Center for an altitude of 350 statute miles in pursuit of Hubble. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight, about 15 seconds prior to solid rocket booster separation. Standing by for SRB separation. Booster officer confirms a good SRB separation. Guidance now converging. Columbia's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel. Columbia Houston, two engine Ben. Houston, we copy, two engine Ben. That call from Capcom Mark Polanski indicates that if one engine should fail right now, Columbia could make a trans-ocean...